Steve asks, he says, I have a problem so far that I have had no success. I'm an avid National Parks visitor. 362 out of 40, 431 visited. That's pretty good. And he says, my primary photo library for my National Parks photos is my iPad. Uh, it's primary, and it's a 256 gig iPad. It is my primary file used more than my MacBook Air. There are more than 12,000 photos, including those of family trips. And he shows how he has albums and he has one sort of parent album called National Parks, which has like 10,000 photos in it. And then in that are nested albums for each park. So all broken out. Very nice. His problem, he says, with this uh, National Parks parent album getting so large, and my grandson beginning to become efficient in iPad use, I'd like to move all of my National Park albums from the iPad Pro to my new 512 gig iPad mini that I got to use exclusively for my travels and all things National Parks. Uh, trip it, his stamps, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'd like to use it under a separate iCloud account. I've spent hours online with Apple support utilizing four different advisors. Their most viable solutions are to open a National Parks album on the, uh, uh, you know, on the existing iPad, but only open one of them. Select all of the photos in the park, airdrop or copy those to the iPad mini, and then create a new album, rename it, paste it in, drag it under the National, National, National Parks album, re rinse and repeat 300, you know, how many parks has he visited? 362. So, you know, repeat that 361 more times. Choice B is highlight and copy all 9,000 photos, but without the album structure. He doesn't want that either. Uh, he says, I'm not sure what to do. So I'm assuming that Steven is not currently using iCloud Photo Library, uh, but he says he is backing up all of his photos to iCloud. And so if that's the case... He's already using iCloud storage for these photos, which means he has enough iCloud storage for these uh, photos. So I think um, I, if it were me, I would enable iCloud photo library at least temporarily to sync the two iPads with each other and making sure on both of them to check that slider, John, that is, uh, you know, download and keep originals on this device, right? So that in the end, both of these devices will have the originals of all of these photos and your iCloud, you know, or your, uh, your photos album structure. And then all you would do is turn off iCloud photo library on the iPad that, or on both of them, you could. And when you do that, it's going to ask you, do you want to keep the photos locally? And you say yes, and then it will let you. And then at that point, you're done. And if you want to log into a different iCloud account, you certainly can because the photos are staying locally on your Mac. But I'm not entirely sure why you wouldn't just want to keep using iCloud photos throughout all of this, because why not? Like, if you're already backing them up to the cloud, why not let iCloud Photo Library do that, you know, quote unquote, backing up for you? And then you get the syncing. And if you want to look at one of these photos on your phone, you know, it's there. You can download it, um, all of that. So I, th that would be my, that would be how I would go about solving this problem. If for some reason iCloud Photo Library is, you know, uh, against one's religion, I, I, I think you can still, but I haven't tried this in a while. So please correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think you can still plug a non iCloud Photo Library attached iPhone or iPad into a Mac and sync your albums bi-directionally there. But, but again, I, I, you know, it's been so long since I've done that, that I don't know. Uh, you could also try using, could you use, oh no, I don't know that power photos does that. Um, uh, uh, I amazing might do that. 